Welcome to a video from TheDigitalLife.com In this video we're going to look at the, uh, take a first look at Redstone 5 RS5 run on HoloLens. This is build 17686 that came out uh, yesterday for HoloLens and quite a surprise really Redstone 4 only came out fairly late in the development of Redstone 4. Redstone 5 a couple months out but we've got it here already on HoloLens. There's not a huge amount of changes but the main thing after um, after I installed it, I did a factory reset to get a clean setup. And after doing the factory reset, I noticed that this dark mode is enabled by default. So here you can see the Windows settings. It's in dark mode, and uh, dark mode is throughout the the operating system. You can't change it though. You can't get rid of dark mode. There's no option to change it from light to dark or back again. And if you don't do an up a reset, you stay in light mode. So I guess that setting is coming soon. I think it looks rather elegant here on the setting screens. You can see the reveal effects this, as I look around looks better as well. And that's the other main change on here. Even the Microsoft Store has dark mode which I think looks uh, a lot better as well in HoloLens. If I open Microsoft Edge you can see this also is in dark mode but you can change this to light mode in the settings. But if you noticed here If you notice here, we've got the new settings menu. This is the same as the PC version of Redstone 5. So we've got this more elegant look, but I can go into here and uh, change the theme there between light and dark. I personally prefer the light mode, but I'm actually getting used to this dark mode and, and getting to where I quite like that. So. I think perhaps for HoloLens it's almost translucent or transparent even, so I think it looks uh, rather elegant in that. Here's an app that I had developed, and previously on HoloLens this defaulted to the non-transparent effect, the the non-fluid uh, design. But as you can see here, I'm actually going to have to change this because it's too dark now. It applies this transparent effect. Um, which looks how it does on uh, a Redstone 4 machine. So it's good to see these uh, effects coming to HoloLens and HoloLens not being left behind like it kind of was bef in previous last couple of years. There are a couple of known issues. Um, Microsoft haven't published these, this is just my experience. I had trouble with these holograms app actually producing holograms, they wouldn't pop out. But now that seems to be working. Something else you may have noticed is I click open the start menu, the video doesn't stop recording, which is something I've had problems with in the past. It normally stops when you do start, and you've got to do, use that. Um, okay, the final, the other issue that I've. <laughs> there's a nice picture I can put over here. The final issue that I've, I've noticed, I'm sure this is fixable, is um, adding accounts in Outlook seems to not work. If, well, I'm trying to have a Gmail account and it doesn't let me add it, it just times out. So that was the, the only other bug I had. So this is the Holograms app, that, but that was interesting, that didn't work at all, and then it suddenly started working. So this is I'm trying to add a, a Google account now and it just sits there. Uh, but I'm sure they can fix that soon. So these are the main things that I've seen, uh, the changes with uh, Redstone. Five on HoloLens, I'm sure there's more to come. It's interesting to see that they're changing there. I guess a lot's under the hood, but interesting to see that it's picking that up so early in the development process. So, it's there now, uh, available for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring. Thanks for watching this video, you can see more on our YouTube channel.